Hey there, and welcome to the Dark Cloud Compendium. My name's Sen Castle, and I'll be your guide, and this is the Voices of Dark Cloud. This video series will comprise audio interviews and interactions of Dark Cloud 2's voice staff. This is very exciting, as it's the first time that the Dark Cloud 2 voice actors have really acknowledged the Dark Cloud fanbase in almost 20 years. Very cool indeed. This iteration of the Voices of Dark Cloud will focus on the works of Andy McAfee, also known as Monica Raybrandt. Now, Andy has been doing voices since she was seven years old and hasn't stopped since. Honestly, it's inspirational. She's done voices for Hey Arnold, Disney's Recess, and The Land Before Time, as well as a game called Dark Cloud 2. I don't know if you ever heard of that one. <laughs> with that being said, I hope you enjoy Andy McAfee's interactions with the Dark Cloud community, the voices of Dark Cloud. With that being said, let us begin. This is Andy McAfee, and I'm the voice of Monica Raybrandt from Dark Cloud 2. Thank you so much for reaching out. I'm so happy you're a fan of that game. I love that game. It is so complex and so much fun and kind of underrated, right? So you had some questions about the recording process, if I have any memories from that. And I do. I remember recording with Chris Zimmerman, who was a director on that project. I love her. She's such a good director. I also remember I saw the voice of Max, Scott Menville, quite a bit. So I think I might have recorded some with him, but a lot on my own. It's not usual to record with other people when you do video games, but I do think we did some stuff together. But the thing I remember most is doing all of those sounds from the fighting, like the ha, ah, ah, ha, like that kind of stuff. I love doing all those sounds. It just sounds very anime to me, and I'm a huge fan of anime, so I always try to emulate those sounds <laughs> when I do these types of video games. Um, yeah, you know what, though? There's also a little hidden fact about this game that I don't know if you know this or not, but my younger brother, Scott, was also a voice in the game. He was a voice of Crest. Isn't that crazy? He might have done an okay job. How did you get into the voice acting business? I have been a professional voiceover artist since I was eight years old. I was born and raised here in Los Angeles, and you physically had to be in Los Angeles to do animation when I was growing up in the industry. And my parents figured out how to get me an agent. It was a children's agency. I wanted to be an on-camera actress. I didn't know anything about voiceover. And when I was an on-camera actress when I was a kid, there really wasn't that much voiceover. It was mostly adults doing kids' voices. So I got a couple of opportunities to audition when the networks and studios wanted a real kid, and I got lucky. I booked a couple of animated projects, and then I just kept going and absolutely loved it. And that's how I got into voiceover. What are some changes you've noticed take place within the voice acting industry? So you wanted to know about some of the changes in the voiceover industry. There have been quite a bit since I was a kid, but I would say like off the top of my head, the biggest change I think, especially in animation, has been the influx of celebrities. So many shows use influencers and celebrities and it used to be that way think about even when an adult show like the simpsons started it was all unknowns if you can address a message to the dark cloud community what would you like to say hey dark cloud community this is andy mcafee the voice of monica raybrandt from dark cloud 2 or dark chronicle depending on where you live and i just wanted to say thank you i didn't know there was a fan community out there for the game that's so awesome I personally really love the game. It's just so many hours of game time, and I love that you can create inventions from all the pictures. Just so much fun. So I just wanted to say thank you. And one thing I'd want you to know is if you ever want anything signed, I don't know if you draw artwork or you have fan fiction or whatever, but if you ever want anything signed, tell your local Comic Con promoters that you would love to have some of the cast from Dark Cloud 2 because that's the way that we get to cons. And then we can sign your stuff in person and say hi and meet you. And I think that's going to start to happen now. So, again, thank you so much for loving the game and for being a great community. And I hope you all have a fabulous day. Bye. So, I just want to give a shout out as Monica from Dark Cloud 2 to Hidden Castle's Dark Cloud Compendium. Thanks for being a fan. 
concludes the Dark Cloud community's interaction with Andy McAfee, voice actress of Monica Raybrandt. Now you can tell how passionate Andy McAfee is for all of her roles, but especially for Monica Raybrandt. The fact that she was able to keep all these memories of Dark Cloud close to her heart despite the fact that Dark Cloud is a niche series and it has been 20 years after all. Now, it was a little mind-blowing learning that the voice actress of Monica and the voice actor of Crest were related. I guess it's a small world after all. Now, if you are interested in seeing Andy McAfee at your local conventions, be sure to reach out to convention tellers and let them know. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the Voices of Dark Cloud. My name is Hidden Castle, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. I've been asked how... Uh... I broke into the voiceover, uh, voice acting business. It's pretty simple. Um, I, uh, I took the uh, Blackstone Railway. Uh, all righty then. Yeah, and I uh, got a power pack uh, for uh, Steve. No, 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 that's not it. That's not it.